Hi everyone, Paul Levy with Brownells here and this week we have some more new product. From Robinson Arms, we have their XCR series now at brownells.com. Uh, the XCR has been out for a little while, uh, but we now have it at brownells.com in a few different configurations uh, that are pretty neat. As you see right here, this is the XCR pistol. This one happens to be a 300 blackout. Uh, so if you're not familiar with the XCR, I'm gonna run through the features on it, do a quick disassembly, because I think this uh, platform's pretty uh, neat and impressive. Uh, so first I'll go ahead and just unload that. Take standard AR-15 magazines, at least in this, uh, this size platform, make sure she's clear. Um, so the XCR, it uses basically an AK style long stroke gas piston system. I'll open it up and show it to you. Uh, we'll start up front. Uh, you have up here an adjustable gas system. So if you run it suppressed, you can fine tune it to your suppressor or your ammunition. Uh, you will notice the upper receiver is all one piece of aluminum. So you essentially get a free floated long stroke piston system, adjustable gas system, M lock, everything you'd want uh, out of this type of uh, setup. You got the shell deflector right here, nice little added feature. Uh, and then since the recoil system is all contained like an AK up inside the carrier, you can have a folding stock. So uh, this pistol config configuration is set up with the gearhead works brace right there. It has an adjustable, adjustable cheek piece. You can adjust the uh, uh, brace for length of pull. And then you can also fold it, of course. So I'll pull it up, fold it over, and there you go. Nice little package. Now for disassembly, this is super simple too. Um, now before I get to that, I should say it has an ambi uh, safety selector. So right there on both sides, magazine release, and then your bolt hold open is right there on the bottom. Uh, so when the bolt is back, you can pull the bolt to the rear, press that up, and to drop the bolt, you can simply depress that control. So for disassembly, super easy. Uh, so on this side, you have this little nub right here. I'm gonna press that forward like so and then the upper and lower are gonna simply hinge apart. Uh, and now I can extract my bulk air group and recoil system from the upper receiver. I'm gonna try and keep it all together. And there you go. So there's your long stroke gas piston system. It stays with the carrier. And that bolt right there, that looks familiar, I'm sure to a lot of you, uh, very similar to an AK. And this is gonna separate like so. You can also pull out the recoil system. And then the bolt, can come out for disassembly as well, uh, right through that track. And then the firing pin is captured inside there. Uh, so again, that's your bolt. If you've ever disassembled an AK, uh, M249 saw, very reminiscent of that. Back to the upper receiver, I should say, if you want to do a caliber exchange, you can purchase barrel assemblies uh, from Robinson. And it's simply done via this bolt right here, 240 inch pound uh, setting, torque that down and you're good to go for your new barrel. So that's the 556 300 blackout size platform. I'll set that aside. Here we have, not hit the microphone. Here we have the bigger platform. This one happens to be in 65 Creedmoor. This is the XCR M. Uh, and this one is available in 308 and 65, both available at brownells.com. Uh, and it shares a lot of commonality with it, but it's larger, just like an SR25 pattern. So we'll make sure this guy's clear. Uh, again, same setup. You got this long, nice free float, uh, one piece upper receiver, M lock for all your attachments, laser, optics, adjustable gas system, stainless steel barrel, and on this guy, you have a muzzle brake. Uh, there is a different configuration for the 308 uh, setup as well. Uh, buttstock is very reminiscent, uh, very similar styling. Uh, it's again adjustable for length of pull, and the cheek piece can move up and down and is also folding. Uh, I'll go ahead and disassemble this real quick because it's just kind of neat to see that larger carrier. So again, you have this button right here, press it forward, move it up, and then you can pull out the guts of the XCR. And right there they separated, and you got that classic AK reliability uh, bolt, carrier, and piston assembly right there. Uh, pretty neat, uh, very unique uh, design. There's the bolt head comes apart like so. So super reliable, robust, scar type setup. That's the Robinson XCR, now at brownells.com. New from Brownells, we have replacement wood stocks. These are available for the Remington 700 and the Howa 1500, and not just the short action. This one right here happens to be for the mini action. So if you have a 762 by 39, uh, you can throw it in a nice wood stock if you buy that barrel to action from us. Uh, so also available in short action, so your 308, your 65 Creedmoor, 
uh, also available in long action uh, for the Howa and the Remington 700. Uh, we also have various barrel profiles. This one right here happens to be a heavy profile. Uh, there's lightweight and the standard profiles available. Uh, these stocks all come uh, from the factory with the sling swivels already installed, the butt pad pre-fitted nicely at the rear, and then nice crisp checkering on the front uh, and the back. These are the new replacement wood stocks, new from Brownells. New from FM Products, we have their nine millimeter barrels. Uh, this one right here is a short guy, seven inches. Uh, so a great setup if you wanna do a pistol build or an SBR, uh, and you can mate that with your nice short handguard, or if you wanna fit your suppressor underneath your handguards. Uh, this one right here happens to be threaded. It is uh, stainless steel with a nitride finish. Uh, and one I don't have here, which I wish I could show you, it's now on the site, Trilug. So you can do, go with the threaded model here for your attachment, or you can go with the classic HK Trilug adapter, straight to your AR style barrel without any adapters, pretty neat. That's new from FM Products. That's it for this week, I'll see you again next week.